Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be a three part tutorial. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to remove the green screen around your character in Photoshop 6.6. Then, I'm going to show you how to make a good looking shadow for a character. And finally, I'm going to show you how to create a fake camera focus effect to blur a part of your background so that the attention of the viewer will be more concentrated on your character and not on the rest of the background. Alright guys, yeah, so in the last tutorial I've been showing you how to remove the green screen around your character in uh, Photoshop. So today I'm going to show you how to make a shadow for a character. So first off what I want to do is I'm going to open my screenshot where I want to place my, my character. I'm going to go into my wall folder and I'm going to select my screenshot which is this one. And it should be there. Right. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Alright. So now what you wanna do is go back to your character panel. On the like you have two panels, you can go to your your background and then switch to your character. You just wanna drag this panel out like this. And now it kind of flows on your screen. So now as you can see here you have the layer of your character and in the background you have your background so what you want to do is just take this layer the layer of your character with no green screen and just drag it on your background like this so now you can just save this this uh, panel and just put it on top and then switch back to your background all right now you should have something like this now what you should do is start resizing your character and just make him look like he's on the road or wherever you want to put him in your background so for me I'm going to resize him so he looks like he's on the road turn him like this a little bit alright All right. now you should have something like this to make your shadow, what you need to do first is duplicate your layer, your character layer. So you're gonna right click on your layer and select duplicate layer. Click OK. Now you should have two layers. You want to select the one, the first one, like the one in between your uh, background and your top layer. You want to select this one. And then go into the effects on the bottom here and select color overlay. Now it's gonna say like choose a color or whatever. You just select the black color since you want to make a shadow. Select the black color and there you go. So I'm gonna turn off the first layer on top and as you can see I have like the shape of my character but it's just all black. I'm gonna turn on this layer. Alright. Now I want to resize the, the shadow layer which is the black one. So I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna start resizing it. Right. So make sure that the shadow is a little bit longer than your actual character because normally when you when you have a shadow it's it's slightly bigger than than you actually it's, it's a little bit taller. So just make sure that you resize it well. Alright, and I'm gonna position it right in the middle of the room. Alright. And there you go. Alright, now we should have something like this. It's not perfect yet, because as you can see there is like there should be a shadow here around my character in the back. So what you want to do now is create a new layer. So I'm going to go here on the little icon here where I can create a new layer. And I'm just going to put it on top of the shadow layer. And then I'm going to zoom on the feet of my character. Then I'm going to select the pen tool here. Now what you want to do is create like a shape around shape around your <clears throat> sorry 
and create a round shape around the, the feet of your character to make it look like there's a shadow continuing in the back of your character just like if it was round around them so I'm gonna start here then just make a cool mask This should be great. So I'm gonna right click on it and then select fill path. Alright. So you're gonna select this and then do I need to select a black color? I'm sorry. You go on the side here, you select a black a black color. And then now you should be able to right click, fill that, click OK. Boom. There you go. So now we have the continuation of your shadow on the back of your character. So now you can just say delete that. And there you go. It doesn't look too right, so I'm just gonna select the the layer here and go with the the move tool I think it's called. Yeah the move tool. And then just with my arrow I'm gonna drag it a little bit under the feet of my character so yep all right looks fine now what you can do is just select with the left uh, with your left um, mouse click the first layer and then select your shadow layer and then right click on them both so you just do left click you hold shift and left click on the shadow layer and then you click you right click on them and you go into merge layer it will merge them. So if I turn this layer off, you can see now it's only one shadow. Right. Now what I want to do is reduce the opacity of the shadow. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna select the shadow layer here, and on top here is here's the opacity. I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. All right. This looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna select the shell layer again and then I'm gonna go on top and I'm going to filter and then I'm going to blur select Gaussian blur here. So now you should have a little bit of blur on your on your shadow because you want to blur it a little bit because it's like shadow are not straight lines, a little bit blur. So I'm gonna put like three, should be good. And yep, I'm gonna select OK. And then I can play again with the opacity a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So now you should have this. So yep, it's pretty much done. Now you have a cool looking shadow for a character. So you can resize it again if you if you don't like it, so select a layer and then you can resize it. Here. Oh, it's fine for now, so all right, so now you should have this. So in the next tutorial, I'm, go I'm going to show you how to blur the background and make like there's a focus on the camera, so like the attention of your viewer are more are more concentrated on your character and not on the rest of the background. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.